motion rate of change of velocity changing velocity we know that in the real world velocity of an object is not constant the velocity of an object keeps changing what do you do in a car to change its velocity to increase the velocity of the car we press down on the accelerator to decrease the velocity of the car we press down on the brake change in velocity is called acceleration so basically when velocity is changing the word acceleration is used and just like velocity acceleration is a vector what does that mean it means acceleration has a magnitude and direction acceleration so what happens when the velocity and acceleration vectors point in the same direction think about it suppose a car is moving ahead with some velocity and then the acceleration vector is in the same direction the velocity of the car increases this is exactly what happens when we press on the accelerator in a car well what happens when we press on the brake in a moving car well the car is moving ahead with a certain velocity then the acceleration vector is in the direction opposite to the motion when we press on the brake then velocity of the car decreases this process is called deceleration this is exactly what happens when we press on the brake in a moving car measuring acceleration acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity that means it is a ratio of the change in velocity to the time taken acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time taken which is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time taken which is equal to v minus u upon t acceleration is denoted by the letter a therefore a is equal to v minus u upon t let us find the units of acceleration let's put in the units in the formula units of acceleration is equal to unit of velocity upon unit of time which is equal to meters upon seconds into 1 upon seconds which is equal to meters upon seconds square understanding acceleration rate of change of velocity is acceleration what does acceleration do it makes the velocity change so if a body starts moving at a certain velocity and then keeps moving with a uniform velocity what can you say about the acceleration is there any change in velocity no so the acceleration is zero uniform acceleration rate of change of velocity is acceleration now this acceleration can be constant or changing constant acceleration is also known as uniform acceleration constant acceleration means a constant net force is being applied to the body does constant acceleration make the velocity of the body change yes suppose we are starting a car that is at rest and we are pressing down on the accelerator so that in every 1 second the speed of the car will increase by 10 meters per second so at 10 seconds the speed is 10 meters per second at 20 seconds the speed is 20 meters per second at 30 seconds the speed is 30 meters per second and so on what kind of acceleration is this this is uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration suppose we are starting a car that has speeds this way so at 0 seconds the speed is 0 meters per second at 10 seconds the speed is 15 meters per second at 20 seconds the speed is 20 meters per second at 30 seconds the speed is 35 meters per second what kind of acceleration is this across equal time intervals is the change in velocity the same it's not hence this is non uniform acceleration what kind of acceleration is this look at the velocity of a moving object 
When time is 0 seconds, the speed is 10 meters per second. When time is 10 seconds, the speed is 20 meters per second. When time is 0 seconds, the speed is 30 meters per second. When time is 10 seconds, the speed is 40 meters per second. What kind of acceleration is this? Across equal time intervals, is the change in velocity the same? It is not. Therefore, it is non-uniform acceleration. Velocity is described by magnitude and direction. When will you say that a body is in 1. Uniform acceleration and 2. Non-uniform acceleration? If an object travels in a straight line and its velocity increases or decreases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time, the acceleration is said to be uniform. If the velocity of a body changes at a non-uniform rate, the acceleration is said to be non-uniform. A bus decreases its speed from 80 km per hour to 60 km per hour in 5 seconds. Find the acceleration of the bus. We are given u is equal to 80 km per hour, v is equal to 60 km per hour, t is equal to 5 seconds. We have to find a. How will we calculate acceleration? A is equal to V minus U upon T. Are the units of all three quantities the same? No. So, let's convert all velocity into meters per second. 80 kilometers per hour is equal to 80 into 1000 upon 1 into 60 into 60 meters per second, which is equal to 200 upon 9 meters per second. 60 km per hour is equal to 60 into 1000 upon 1 into 60 into 60 meters per second, which is equal to 50 upon 3 meters per second, which is equal to 150 upon 9 meters per second. Therefore, A is equal to V minus U upon T, which is equal to 150 upon 9 minus 200 upon 9 whole upon 5, which is equal to minus 50 upon 9 into 5, which is equal to minus 10 upon 9, which is equal to minus 1.11 meters per second square. Therefore, the acceleration of the bus is minus 1.11 meters per second square. Let's take a look at another one. A train starts and moves with a uniform acceleration and attains a speed of 40 km per hour in 10 minutes. Find its acceleration. We are given u is equal to 0 km per hour, v is equal to 40 km per hour, t is equal to 10 minutes. We have to find a. How will we calculate acceleration? a is equal to v minus u upon t. Are the units of all three quantities the same? They are not. So, let's convert all velocity into meters per second and time into seconds. 0 km per hour is equal to 0 meters per second. Therefore, u is equal to 0 meters per second. 40 km per hour is equal to 40 into 1000 upon 1 into 60 into 60 meters per second, which is equal to 100 upon 9 meters per second. Therefore, V is equal to 100 upon 9 meters per second and T is equal to 600 seconds. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.